What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. Today, we're going to take a look at my new IIRK cabinet. Let's get this thing assembled and see how it looks. Let's get it started. <music> We have our stand and our bar top. And then apparently there was some mix up with one of the pieces, so they shipped it out ahead of time. So this has been here a few days earlier. Uh, and what I want to do is I have these met. Just get these from the five and below. A little padding you can use for workout, exercising. I use them for a little padding in front of our cabinets. Uh, so I'll just take these two, add them to these two, and we'll have a four by four square. So we have uh, the components for the stand all unboxed. And so the, the stand has four sides. Uh, so it's eight pieces total. Uh, there's the front, two sides, the back is comprised of three different pieces, and then you have a ceiling and a floor. And then you have the wheels, the screws, the hardware, and then some pieces that lock the counter cage onto the stand. So let's get this thing started. We got our instructions, manuals, and we're just going to go. So this back door, the instructions call for this hole to be on the bottom, which is probably for the power cord uh, and for it to come out and to come out here. But the problem is this uh, sticker with the serial number and everything is faced up this way. So if I put it the way the instructions call for, then this sticker will be down here upside down and so someone made a mistake there so I'm gonna try it for now with it this way and we'll see where we uh, go with that the other thing that's weird is that this door is flush it is not flush this door is not flush so it's it's sinking by probably uh, not quite half an inch so this board is thinner than the rest of the wood and so there's an edge on all four sides which is kind of weird considering um, that they made everything else flush the other thing that i did was on the base you can see that i put the uh the unfinished side face down uh, and I'm pretty sure they wanted the black side to be on on the bottom but I don't know when I'm looking inside I, I figured I'd rather have it black there versus black on the bottom uh, where everything else is the same color so that's a poor choice on my side but it's no big deal who's going to see the bottom I am delighted to see that the back of the cabinet uh, the back of the cabinet is black compared to um rk1 up you know I, I hate that they keep those uh that back door unfinished so i'm glad that they did finish this back door not sure why they didn't make it the same thickness so that there was no gap there so that's kind of weird uh so you see the feeder on here 
and the feet are going to be perfect because I have a cement floor and so it would be uneven no matter where I put it and so you can twist those and change the height so that there's no rot. Uh, the only remaining pieces are these uh, four pieces here that screw into the top. Once you set the counter cave on top, then these will lock it together. Uh, and I like that approach as opposed to RK1 up. If you wanted to uh, attach the two, you would have to drill a hole through the side of your cabinet, which is ridiculous. And I, I, I have never done so. So these things can just lift off the, off the base. Now, that's okay. It has been okay. Where the cabinet here is the largest piece. And that's the smaller piece. And so I, I don't have any issue. Here, if you had to decide if you're going to drill a hole into the side of something. And you decide not to. That would be more of a problem. Because the, the smaller part would be where all the action is going would be on the top so they alleviated that by having it be mounted from the inside down to through the counter cave to the base and so you don't you eliminate that that need um, all around the cabinet there's no screw holes uh, which is great even though you're gonna have artwork on here uh, there's no divots where the artwork would be um, it's just smooth so I like that. This is the instructions for the bar top. And I like the way they handle this. Two different books, they're packaged separately, but they left no room for air as far as mixing parts up. The parts for the stand were all letters. All the parts for the bar top are all numbers. So the, the number one through 15. And so we'll use the instruction manual and we'll get this bar top uh, assembled. Oh, one other thing is they sent this replacement part for number four. So let's see, I'm not sure what the difference is uh, they, they appear to be identical so I think some people had some errors with theirs and uh, had the wrong part these appear to be identical however if I run into a problem once I'm assembling then I'll, I'll uh, I'll utilize it but everything appears to be the same so I'm not sure if, we, if I need this just yet All right, so with the bar top, I made a mistake. I put the, the feet on the top. Uh, again, the black is the bottom. It's always the outside. So I, need, I had to take these feet off and put them on the reverse side. To, to show the interfaces you got these connectors these two connectors here and you have this video connector there Just in case you
there has to be some protective uh, film over this. Though I'm having a tough time finding the edge anywhere. But this thing is totally scratched up in every capacity. So I would think that has to be the protective screen that is edge on one side. Though it seems like it would be on this side too, but doesn't appear to be. So kind of afraid. And I don't know. So so the side that has the number has a peeling off side. The other side, maybe not. So I'm assuming that this is, I don't know if this is the front side or the back side. And I'll imagine since I'm touching the other side, I'm gonna make this the back side so I can clean the other side. No instructions on this whatsoever. I'm gonna make that the inside. I still see scratches on here. So, I, I don't know. I'm going to make this the inside. So before I screw this close here, I do want to just show you what's in here. So you have that one cable going up to the back to the speakers, the monitor cable going down there, monitor. So that middle cord there, that's the sound. So that's the cable that's going up and up into the, uh, speakers and then you have your power cable that's mounted here and that will be seen through the little door here okay so you just have these four screws that mount this close And since this is a bark bar top, this portion here can be used without the stand. So that's why it has this little feet on the bottom of this to allow this to sit on its own. I definitely recommend this little ratchet screwdriver. So there's a few gaps, that gap there, and you have this gap here that could have been tight. Okay, and so that bottom part that I talked about earlier, it's not present. I didn't realize his back was still there, so that covers that up. But there are a couple of gaps that just, <laughs> they missed it by just a little bit. All righty. So I didn't end up needing this piece here because 
they did send me the right one. But I guess there were some that had the wrong pieces. And instead of someone having a surprise, they just made sure everyone got that piece. That was a good gesture. All right, let's get this thing up on. I still have decals to uh, put on, but let's just get it fired up first. All right, well, I made a mistake here. <laughs> you see in the drawing, it clearly states that the shows that these three holes should be on the back panel, where my three holes are on the front panel. And so now the cabinet needs to be screwed in on these four holes. And that's not possible because this board is reversed because I made a mistake. So I have to take this back panel off and then I need to take off one of these sides and I got to get this top off and flip it. Ah, that's a bummer. Good thing I caught it before I put the stickers on. Alright, let's see. And while we're in here, I'm going to just go ahead and feed a uh, HDMI cable. I'm not sure what It'll be used for at this point in time, but so I don't have to open it up later, I'm just gonna plug in that HDMI cord there, run it through the hole and bring it out here as well. And I'll just wind it up uh, just so it's for future use. Then we'll just go ahead and feed this guy down in this hole as well. Get down there. Get down in there. Come on in. There we go. All right, so we have those two there. And since I have equipment, I'm going to uh, just secure those a little better. Definitely has some weight to it. Should be some holes there. That fits in. And I shouldn't have screwed the back on yet because I would need to put those other screws on to hold it in. So it looks pretty plain Jane without the decals. Let's see if I have a open plug back here somewhere.